Hi, Jeff Cote here with uh, Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question from a fellow boater named Ross. Ross asks, I've got a house battery bank with four golf cart batteries on a 36 foot Bavaria, and after a day, a, a day at anchor, my batteries are drained. What is your recommendation for solving my power needs? Welcome to the club, Ross. We all have power problems, and that's why we're here to help. All right, so basically my approach to solving power on a boat like yours is first to look at having a battery monitor. A battery monitor is gonna be essential. It's imagine driving your car and going in the back country and not having a fuel gauge or a speedometer. You don't know how much you've traveled and you have no idea how much fuel is left in your tank. A battery monitor is a critical piece of hardware that every boater that leaves the dock should have so that when you are boating, you don't have any surprises on the discharge of your batteries. So that's number one. Number two is having separation between your engine battery and your house battery. And it sounds easier than it is. A lot of times, a lot of boats are gonna to have too much in loads on the engine battery and not enough loads on the house battery. So you wanna make sure that all your house loads are running on your house battery bank and that only engine loads are running on your engine battery. So I know a lot of us think we have that, but in actuality, a lot of us, that actually isn't how the boat is actually wired. So you need to confirm that. The third part uh, is installing a battery combiner. And a battery combiner would allow your alternator to recharge your engine battery and also share that charge with your house battery. And it, what it allows you is it allows you to avoid having to use that source selector switch, the one, two, both, or all. And having right now, you'd have to always have an off to recharge the house battery when the engine gets a charge. So a battery combiner is a really good idea. Or you could also consider a battery isolator. By the way, both items are on our website, and we got also tons of information on those on YouTube as well. And lastly, uh, what I would do if that's not enough and you're looking for more higher output from your alternator, consider a high output alternator, right? Uh, like maybe a 90 amp or 120 amp alternator or even bigger ones, and have an external regulator, that means like a brain that drives the alternator and makes it smart, so that effectively you can go from Maybe it almost doubles your effective output from your alternator. So those are the four things I would do to solve your battery problems or battery draining problems, Russ. Everyone, thanks for watching and post your questions down below and uh, we'll look at answering them as often as we can. Thank you.